All right, so let's see. Was there a question? Um, this decomposition of electroweak into U1 cross SU2 left, is it this SU2 left that is uh, the reason for parity yes. breaking? Okay. Yes, and, and it's really absurd because it's maximal. In other words, it's not something that's a normal gauge, normal gauge symmetry and then is slightly broken so that parity isn't exact. Instead, it's that the W's, it's that the SU2 left interacts only with the left-handed gauge. The old left-handed parts of the spin of here. Okay. Um, so let's let's look at this. Um, let's suppose it's a fermion coming in, carrying color of flavor index I, an anti-fermion coming in, carrying uh, momentum Q and index uh, J. And now we have a boson going out, A, K1, and another gauge boson going out, B, K2. And we then have this diagram also. kind of thing already many times, so I'll just quote the answer. It's um, IG squared Z bar of Q for the first two diagrams. Gamma mu TA I over P slash minus K2 slash minus M gamma nu TB plus gamma nu TB I over K2 slash minus Q slash minus M gamma nu TA UP epsilon U star K1 epsilon star nu of K2. Okay. And remember as I derived here, the k slash root n, k slash minus n gives you just k squared minus m squared. And so 1 over k slash minus m is equal to k slash plus m over k squared minus m squared. All right, so the, the thing that I want to do now is to compute this diagram which um, has this new intrinsically Yang-Mills vertex, which, is, which comes from this term here. So this is something that we haven't seen before. And so if we look at this as K1, K2, uh, time order product, e to the minus i equal z equal of x, and then PQ, I'm sort of abbreviating things, 
then this is equal to K1, K2 minus I squared over 2 integral T of V1, V2, Vq, E4x1, E4x2, and so this is, in other words, minus G squared over 2, K1, K2, big integral, big time order product, and one term is minus A mu A psi bar down mu psi, well, TA, let me stick the TA in there, plus FABC D mu A mu A mu B A mu C, one, and then the same thing here, minus, I'm a little careless with the indices, it may be that I should have used different indices, but let's just let it go with that. Time order product P Q D four X one D four X two. Okay, so what you can see is that you can either let this interaction act at vertex one, or you let this one act at vertex one. That gives you a factor of two. Okay. So in other words, you you, you can have it be 1, 2, and then you can have it be 2, 1, and if you just compute 1, you can cancel the 2. And um, the 2 minus signs cancel, and so what you wind up with then is g squared, k1, k2, integral time order product, and now a, a, mu, psi bar gamma mu, TA psi at 1 with um, FABC DK A A lambda A K B and capital B A lambda C at 2 P Q. So this is this is where we are at that stage. Now you remember that these states have a square root of twice the energy built into them. And um, so in fact I could, just to save time, space, F and chalk, uh, I can say this is uh, G squared, the product of the square root of 2E, all of them. And then what we have here is annihilation operator, K1, a spin index, a, uh, a flavor index, times a K2, another index, and a B. And then over here, this would just be um, a dagger of P, S, and um, I, and B dagger of Q, um, S prime, and uh, there's, pizza. there's pizza here. Yeah. Yes, sir. All right, yeah, so those are the eaters. Uh, <laughs> so I'm supposed to sign something? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What? <laughs> All right, here, grab one. one in the back and one in front. Yes. So,
game. Okay, so one out of team. They're all, um, all, all of it is, uh, um, vegetarian. The, the meat that they put on pizza is lethal in the United States. In, um, in, in Italy, They actually um, they actually ban some of the <coughs> stuff that we put in sausage and so forth. 